Lewis. McRae left footer, so that's a good, good hand on a brilliant kick to Bronton Pelly. She's a good player, McRae. And Bronton Pelly is too, like, they see everything, those two kids. Yeah. Player, you'd buy shares in him, but the one thing he hasn't proven, can he nail one of these? He has now. He's on the board for the first time in the AFL. He's got his first goal. Isn't that great to see? All the Bulldog players coming around him. Matthew Boyd, what about this young 18-year-old, Bonton Pelly? Often we speak about players, uh, their ability and not being able to put it together, but uh, consistency is really important. Bonton Pelly from downtown once, twice... Long-range goal. Terrific start from the youngster. Brought it back in the middle to Eastern Wood. Good deep kick. Bontempelli waits off it. Comes to the footy with Frawley. Scouting was Dalhouse. Back to Bontempelli again. Oh, he's full of class. What a future he's got. If they, if they work hard enough, the forwards, to get it on ground level, they've got players like Bontempelli that can convert those opportunities. Really good goal, but too often they've been outmarked when it's gone long. But uh, that's a nice goal. Very similar to Bernie Vince's in the third quarter for the Demons, but uh, doesn't normally work for the Dogs. Well, let's see if the bomb works this time. Minson, they all fell down. Frawley, will they concede a behind here? He's done it again. Dangerous to do that. Frawley, Stevens waiting for Bontempelli, found a way out. Oh, that is yeah. unbelievable. Super goal, but Jace, back to your point. How many times have the Melbourne players tried to do too much? Now, on this occasion, it's Frawley. Got to get the ball over the line. And he gets just, it twice. Again, he gets it twice. What about it. this effort from Bonton Pell? Oh, he shrugged three tackles, and then how he threads the needle with a right hand around the right foot around the corner. <laughs> that is a Extra. contender, isn't that, it? That, that deserves to win the match. He's a star, this young fella. Good, good strength through the. The core, I mean, he's a tall, athletic midfielder, but uh, that's great strength to hold off some experienced defenders. So now the Bulldogs get... Not as much now. Primary in the long sleeves to Bontempelli. Will he kick some rippers last week? He's a big-time player. Minson, McIntosh. Oh. Slick hands outside of the boot. Gee, this kid's got to be good. Two yeah. monster goals in this term. Sends it back towards Stevens or Bontempelli. Well That's better use again, Bontempelli. We know he plays up through the midfield, but that six foot four frame can can lead and present up at the ball well. In his tenth game, but to put his side back in front, they're down by four. Can he put them up by two on the reverse angle? Yep, he can. He kicks truly. Bontempelli goals the dogs in front again. Great. Springer's in the goal square. Bontempelli leads short. It's in Bontempelli's direction. And they call him the Fonz down at Witten Oval. He's got their first shot. So you couldn't ask for a better pass, could mm -hmm. you? And he's a contender for the NAB Rising Star, especially if he finishes the season strongly. Directly out. And cool ahead. We're all square again. Didn't take the hand pass. Trying to get through as Griffin showed some skill. Kicks in towards full five. Then Bunton Pelly has taken the mark five metres out. And that's why he's the captain, Jared. He's their best player and he's their best leader. It's Bunton Pelly to level the scores, and he does. He gets his second goal after kicking one in the first quarter. Wood ends up on the end of it. Long ball. Here's a chance for the youngster who everyone in football likes. Bunton Pelly. 50. 50. Pushed him over. 50 metres, pushed him over, after he marked it. Well, that's costly, just giving away a 50 there. I know he's probably going to kick the goal anyway, but you don't make a certainty of it. So the teenager kicks the dog's ninth. Comes out wide, Johannesson from 50. That travelled barely eight metres. Oh, that was high up too. That that is, they need a major desperately now. Razor Ray having a good old chin wag. Bontempelli now from 47 metres. That's much better. Much better.
And finally, they get their second goal. Cart now he's going to be outnumbered. Stringer leaves it for Dalhouse. He flicks it high. They're going to be called to play on Bontempelli. What a quarter. Back in town, the Doggies. Bontempelli gets his second for the game, his second for the quarter. He's at the base of that pack. Smith hand passes out. Only as far as Liberatore gave it to Bontempelli. And Bontempelli kicks a goal from 35. Easy within range. Easy within range. He loads up. Goal square. Campbell drops back. Read it well, spears it back, Bontempelli, they need a hero, he's been that a couple of times this year. Fantastic first season, his coach said he didn't want him to be the poster boy, he might not have a choice. He puts this through, makes it a two kick game, never in doubt, that's class. Fugly players come out of that club. Oh yeah, Bontempelli found it, hooked it. And gold it. That's what the people come to see. The bond. If a very similar snap to against Melbourne here last year, yeah. and he tore the game away from uh, Melbourne, kicking two last quarter goals on James Frawley. Great use of the body. Yeah, Luke Shea, we'll learn from that one. The big bond. Penetrating. Comes back to Cramery. Goes onto the left foot with a big bomb. Long, big fly from Stringer at the back. Couldn't take ah. the mark. Bond and Pelly kicks the goal. You haven't got much time to get rid of the ball. How, what oh, it does to a player's oh, wow. head. Look at that kick out. Now, if he kicks the goal here, Bob, we just saw Tory Dixon miss one. <laughs> Tom Harley only kicked, out, kicked in once in his life. <laughs> Must have been a bad one. <laughs> Marcus Bontempelli. Only the two goals so far this year, but he's only played the three games up until now. Good kick. Perfect strike. And that'll make the dogs feel a little more comfortable and at home. Rampy prepared to kick. It was a strange decision. Well, that's where they got their first goal of the game from. It was Reece Shaw with a kick out that didn't hit the target for Marcus Bontempelli. As you can see, 14 kicks. None more important than this one. And he'll know it. He's done it before at critical moments, even in his young career. And here he is on the line again, Marcus Bontempelli. It's that? close. Well, no, it's not. It's a goal just when the dogs needed it. In his first game. Sandlands with the left arm, Bonten oh, he he's going to he's gonna get a free kick. So Marcus Bontempelli giving himself a long, long run up. He'll stroll in and try and bring the margin to within a kick. And he's done exactly that. Here come the doggies. Look at the hands from Stringer. Plays on. He got rid of Lester in one motion. Out the back, Bontempelli. He lumbers after it. He'll go back with some class. And he says, I want a piece of this as well. I'm a star too, Bontempelli. And the Bulldogs get it out to an even 10-goal lead. Opportunity for McLean. Johannes and Wallace. Now Bontempelli, the star. Shakes the tackle. Got to go on the left boot. Distance not a problem. It's just a class act. Team disposals. I love the game is it. We need the bond to fire up and kick one. Well, he has fired up. And he has kicked one. You just never know. 50 repeat stoppages. And someone just pops up and, and generates a, a shot at goal. And Bond and Pelly was the man. He's had plenty of the ball in that third term. And the someone happened to have a little bit of class lynching. He has. He had 11 disposed in the third term. Only one of those were was a kick. But on that occasion, he got around on that very trusty left slipper and just slotted it straight through. Into the turf, Murphy handled it once, Murphy handled it twice, Good. and his kick was shaped to absolute perfection. Dalhouse, what a build up! Grand entry into the 50. Who better than the Bont? Bont and Pally. Have you seen better play than that from the dogs? Once again, towards Oxley, he's gonna lose it. Here's Bont and Pally, and he makes them pay. Any of those will do. Bont and Pally up three deep with a fist in the end. Gets his own crumb and kicks a ripper. How good was that? Their forward half, the Bulldogs. And that is just a great passage of play. Dropped it to the ground, bumped his opponent out of the way. And 
snapped on the left. You know, unless guys are prepared to work further up the ground, and we saw Mitch Wallace, he was the one who kicked it out in the full, which was 150 metres away from where he ended up marking the ball within probably 8 or 10 seconds. So great, probably not 8 or 10 seconds, 15 yeah. seconds, but he worked so hard to get across there, provide support for his teammate. Viney's going to have to tighten up on Wallace. Seven disposals, five contested possessions. It's on its way. Dogs have four. It's ominous early. A goal that they scored. They might now, though. Thumping ball forward again. Again, it's Talia driving them forward. And here's the bond. Really strong overhead again to Jones, who's more the, the medium sizer. So nine goal scorers for the afternoon. Bontempelli has now got two. Dogs by 68, 90 seconds before half time. They brought the ball to ground and then went back and got it. They might be on the end of it as a result. Dalhouse to Bontempelli. They've kicked five in a row. And it's three for the Bont. But to do a good spot here. And a good pot, Bontempelli. He just protected the drop zone of the ball last second. Turned his body. Playing against his cousin, Nick Del Santo, today. Still only 19 years of age. They needed that. Cool head. Delivers on cue. Less than four minutes remaining now in this half. Bontempelli, there it is. The luxury that Tim spoke of. The Bont of all knowledge affect the handballs as good as anyone in the competition six point ball game oh brilliantly done by Bontempelli he read it from Martin that was magnificent football by the young man scores a level he's kicked to here he is again Marcus Bontempelli working from the front of that stoppage getting onto his left that's another stoppage goal for the dogs he's very clean and Bontempelli takes the mark plays on they've got it inside 50 here is Bontempelli now shoots towards goal and puts through the opening goal in 18 seconds get out of the middle with McRae and Bontempelli and the first goal on the board well, what a great start. 18 seconds and you get your first goal on the board. Tries to give it across to a teammate, Liberatore. Lights it tough. Bonapelli lights it left. He snaps and puts through another one. But I think it's right. You tipped him in. Bonapelli to unload from 55 out. He nails the goal. The bot. Hard to get your head around. Bad turnover now. McLean back with the flight. Fist from Doherty. Bonapelli, he just stole it out of the hands of Rowe. And the Bont kicks his second goal. Should have gone from the centre square to about 25 metres out for Carlton. It didn't. And this is the result. Gordon, it was not to do it. Here comes Johannesson. Slid the little handball in. Bontempelli for his third. Silk. It was indeed pure class. Bonte Trying Pelle to set something up. He does go in that direction. Bontempelli's got the six, the fly, and the mark. Well, they got lost there. I believe his eyes are very talented. Bontempelli's got space. He three goals last week against the Blues, yeah. Bontempelli. So he's in good goal kicking form, and he pops one through there. Waste no time. Towards Bontempelli again. Merity leapt too early. That's a free kick. Unrealistic attempt at the footy, and Bontempelli can go back and try and kick two. The magical things with the footy rarely wastes a possession. Bontempelli directly in front. Lovely kick off the boot, and he's got two. Bringer getting away and then attacking hard to fall forward with a good looking kick, and Bontempelli takes a beauty. This is just a fantastic weapon when you can put Jakey Stringer in the middle, start in the centre bounce, and this bloke up forward on Spud Ferrito, who's a hard man to beat in a one-on-one -on -one contest. Just good use of the body, read the flight of the ball quicker. Good mark. It was a beautiful kick because it was to his advantage. Nothing Ferrito could do there. It's got it. So the dog's back in front. For running support, not on. So he went long with the kick. Here's Ruffhead, one on one there. They hold each other. Knocked down. The Bont. Bont and Pally kicks another one for the Dogs. They're third in a row, and they lead by 22 points. The lead.
from Red Park. Now the kick in the corridor is good. And Bonson Kelly, you will remember in the final, he missed two set shot kicks that potentially cost the Bulldogs a chance to go further in the finals. He gets a chance at redemption now, Marcus Bonson Kelly. He does. Marcus. He'll have the distance covered easily. 15 seconds gone. The goal, you would think, would be enough. And it'll be going right through his mind. The Bulldogs are 8-8 eight, eight from set shots tonight. What can this young star do? Bonson Pelly, he's hit it pretty nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And he's kicked it right through. They get around him from everywhere. Dog Sand fans out of their seat. And one of the young guns of the competition. He stared it down and kicks a massive goal. 47 seconds remaining. Wow. And like they started the game, the Dogs, they are able to get that ball from the centre square. Biggs comes up off the half-back line, gets it moving forward. They started the game on fire in the middle, and they won that crucial one then. Two losses this year for the Crows, both by under 10 points. And to a dangerous spot, who's at home? Over the top, Bonton Pelly fell in his lap. Now, it's only 15 points, this to make it nine. Still just 20 years of age, Bonton Pelly. Feels like he's been around a long time. Tried to slide it under the arm. Wallace cut it off. Thumps it to the wing. Bonton Pelly was half held. Runs it on, O'Shea. Tough task here, shutting down the bond, has the shot at goal. He's a star. He's a superstar. Here's a Caleb Daniel, short pass, Bonton Pelly! He's got it! That's a absolute, not set play, but it's just a, a, a play that the dogs use. He, he kicked that short before the bond had even led there. Inside five minutes. From directly out. Catch us if you can. He wants it one out in the square. Yep. Bonton Pelly's the go-to. Gee, had it in the hands and he got a free. Oh, Hi. gee, probably should have taken the mark. Bonton Pelly in the end. 23 possessions and two goals in that one. And he came out here to the SCG last weekend on his weekend off. Just decided to come to the SCG while he was in town and scoped the place. No wonder he knows where they are. Dogs extend the lead. With a little bit of flair there. McRae could have come real wide. Elects to go a little more deliberate for Bonham Pally. And Bonham Pally has marked 35 to 40 metres out for his 15th goal of the year here, Bonham Pally. Shoot the left boot. That's a nice looking ball. So Bonham Pally extends the flow. Look, I think from the goal line. No prior opportunity. I mean, so he said no, no, he, he made no genuine attempt to get rid of it. That's what he's played for. Was he outside 50? I didn't think he was. Not by 10 oh, metres. So Bonham Pally now to kick the goal to put him in front. A big decision in this game. Their young superstar steps to the plate and goals. The Dogs lead by five. Well directed kick, Kobe Stevens. Oh! On his own, Bonton Pelly, can you believe that? He's kicked 16 10 for the season. What a player he already is, and no doubt will become. Marcus Bonton Pelly puts the Western Bulldogs back in front. Here's the picture of indecision, but he settles on Bonton Pelly. Yeah. To me, it really looks like there is a distinctive. And we heard the coach before the game, Alan Richardson, say they were prepared to go in smaller yep. and hope to get the run as Bonton Pally delivers another for the Dogs and sets them two goals apart now from the Saints. Here, been a part of that. Wallace hit it hard, flicked it back. Brilliant pickup from Bonton Pally, and the finish goes with it. <laughs> He's a left footer, he's a good kick, didn't go for home, Bonton Pelly! Good play, dogs! And that, 
that was great. Bont and Pelly, he was... But have the awareness just turn, hit up at the kicker and present an option to him. And Thompson had no touch on him, so he was always going to be able to mark that ball. This for their first lead of the game. And that's a goal. No problems at all. Bon and Pelly and the dogs hit the front. Tennis ball almost needs to clamp onto them. Me. Daniel out of the congestion and that right again. Just okay, kick it forward quickly, move the ball on. Wouldn't this lift his team? A real leader's goal if he goes back and slots this. Coming up for his 16th possession then. Steps inside the 50. Kick is on the way. And that's pretty good. Very nice. Started this term very well. What a brilliant kick. What a brilliant kick. Well, I'm not sure that was so brilliant. Robert gets it from Dunkley. Goes short to Bonham Belly. And a natural left footer is set up here. Well done by the Dogs. Well worked by the Bulldogs again. Same scenario. Back opposite to side. Ponce and Pally just take his time. Get composed. Should just pop this one home pretty simply. Lion. He's become a fine goal kicker. That's no exception. He's got two. Daniel, who keeps going forward. Bontepelli into Yo, taken high. Just a little touch of some Caleb Daniel. And this for a 44-point lead. In their wildest dreams, could the Bulldogs fans have imagined this? It is one of their most glorious nights of football. The Bulldogs, they keep kicking away. Suggest not so... But maybe tonight is the night the genie gets out of Dent's head. Rough end of Bond and Pelly takes a wonderful mark against Hodge of all comers. Yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. What he does is he steps forward, puts Hodge out of the contest here, clever, and then goes back and takes the mark. Protected the space beautifully. I say it was carry like, but uh, you don't have to blush because it was. And Bont and Pelly from 30 metres out gets the goal. Stringer and Bont and Pelly, eh? Factor. Here for the Hawks, Mitchell can't get it out, Liverkin, you know who, of course it's him, it's him, you know who it is. Fresh area out the middle, Johansson, he's a lively player, he can run, here he Stop goes, bottom pressing ball to bottom belly, bottom belly, no one between here and the goal, paddles it up, gets back under his left foot to hit the front, to hit the front. The Dogs are in front by a point. Bolton Pelly has brought them to their feet. Couldn't quite break it out. No Hannison. Bonham Pelly. Remember, he's a left footer, but he can kick on the right. And there's a great example. Again now, Picken. Gained some good ground with that. Bonham Pelly, one of the three. Not on. Shade had to go. Gee, I reckon he had his feet taken. Handball to Cramery. It was hard. Bonham Pelly around. He's got it. Picks his second the bond. Long. He switches back inside. It's going to be a ball. Top of the square. Bontem Pelly. Just superb control of the footy from Rob Murphy. And he's so Bontem Pelly reaps the reward that Murphy created with an opportunity for goal and doesn't let him down. Bontem Pelly via Murphy. Footy. Jeez, his work rate is Sets massive. it out. Can Bont and Pelly? Of course he can. Of course the Bont can. That's why he's a young match winner. It's just unbelievable. And that, that was a beautiful kick. We talk about Dusty Martin one-on-one. -on -one. This is what this guy's so good at too, isn't he? Cunningham, yeah, just needed to take his body there, but... He's brilliant one on one, this bloke. Long out to Suckley on his favourite left, hooks this one back around. Opportunity for Bonapelli. Good hands. Beautiful mark. What about the kick from Matty Suckley as well? Perfectly to Bontempelli's advantage. Yeah, it was a ripper belly. 193 centimetre midfield, Marcus Bontempelli. In any era, he's a key position player. And that is four goals straight and a big one from the Bont. Opportunity to go forward where a handball was on. Oh, that's a terrible turnover again. Libba. Bottom belly strides through majestically and kicks the goal. McRae flew, Clay Smith winding his way into the clear, an awkward kick but a good kick. And Bottom Pelly takes the mark. That's 18 disposals but no goals for Marcus Bottom Pelly until now. Back to five points. 
Smith now looking to get it to the top of the square. High footy. Are the big orange jumpers there again? Mumford in front. Bonham Pally Rove. Front and centre goal. Boy, they needed that, didn't they, the dogs? That's the identical kick from before when Pat marked the footy, but this time they were able to create a crumb. And what a finish. Kennedy. Cordy around the corner, put it into a dangerous spot. Here's Boyd, little hand in front for Stringer. Bottom Pally, look at the bend on that. Look at it. He's kicked two bottom Pally, he's a star. Unfortunately, it's Shane Mumford, 115 kilos landing on top of you. That's why Libba is the way he is. Well, yep. Yeah. Oh. I'll explain there, Lingy, as Bottom Pally takes the mark. And has two Bottom Pally. Here he is stepping to the plate, and that's as straight as it gets. Picks his third. Stringer over the top, he's got some space in front of him. They've got numbers out everywhere. Could go short to Adams. Decides to go to the goal square. Bonham Pelly takes it. And the Bulldogs kick two in a row. First to the bottom. Tried to tackle. Spears a pass in towards full forward. they got numbers at the back. Pickham will go over the top. Bonham Pelly will kick another one. The well, dogs have got to take the adrenaline that would be pumping and turn it into something. Frost claim high. Now Bonton Pally. These are the moments that mean something and they can mean everything. Well, it's Marcus Bonton Pally. Byron gets the affirmative. He brings it back to Bonton Pally. To be able to get away with a basically a 40 metre pass like that. The dominate there, but then when he does, as he rest breaks, this is the goals he's got to kick. 13 goals, 14 for the year. It hasn't always Beautiful. been like this kick, but there's not a problem on this occasion. Dale, three to three to Dale House. Saw picking quickly to Bonton Pelly onto his left boot, over the shoulder, around the corner. Dogs five in a row. And how he's big enough to go and play as a rucker, but when you get one v one with him, you're thinking, you're panicking, you start holding, you start interfering with him rather than just letting a teammate cut across. But that's the doubt that goes into your mind as a defender when you're playing on a bloke who's six foot four and can move like him. I think Bolts might have just left the box. <laughs> Meanwhile, Bonds and Pelly trying to extend the 20 point lead. He does, but a full six, and he's got a couple. Now picking in for the assist to the top of the square. Bonton Pelly off the ground. Stretch the lead to 13 points. He's a, take your time. Take your time. And this is what happens, Jerry. We spoke about in the third quarter. Opposition defenders get nervous around the great ones. Bonham Pally forward. Connor McKenna was the man. Nine seconds on the clock and counting down. Six is on his way. So Bonham Pally kicked one in the third term when he was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> and he's made of steel. Bonded Pelly gets his second. It may just be the one the dogs need. Path pushed his man out legally according to the umpire. Bonded Pelly stalks it. Here's his moment. Spins it around. The bounce back and the dogs are back. Bangs it to the top of the square. Red Path can't get the run. Bonded Pelly. Who else? To make it a two kick game with less than six minutes left. He was quiet early, hit the post early, but you can't keep a good man down. Webb, Webb in the red boots for the left foot, centering ball to Bonton Pally. Good linking play there from the Dogs. Very, very nicely done. So Bonton Pally with a shot no further than 25 to 30 metres. And really not a lot of angle about it either. He's dragged it a little, but it's a goal. Dogs get their second. Flip that over the top. Dalhouse runs on. He got some attention as he kicked the ball. Oh, well done, Bonham Pelly. Stuck the one mid up. Show what he can do there. Yeah, they'll be fresh over that. Essendon had got out down there to fly across, but just got a bit tangled with Brown and Bonham Pelly. And as you said, as a midfielder who sits at about six foot four, six foot five, who can play as a deep forward, he's very hard to match up on. 193 centimetres, 93 kilos. In any era, he could be your gun centre forward or. Full forward even for the perfect start to the second quarter. Directly in front, Bond and Pelly makes no mistake. He missed the footy. Now the ground level skills for the big man. Brilliant play. He might get a free here. Bond and Pelly in the back, I reckon. Nicely done.
Bontempelli makes it five in a row. He's got a couple. That'll determine whether Chris Donnell lets it happen again. Never intending to go for it in the end. Offhand, Bontempelli quickly around the body. Goal! Got three. A very smart pull kick from Addis Saka. We spoke earlier about just pulling a kick to the top of the goal square just so this can happen. And you got Sparks with both people with Bontempelli around the goals. He's weighted the kick. Bonapelli was the leader. He gets there with the spoil. The bot wins it magnificently. It deserves a goal. The talent and the brilliance of Marcus Bontempelli. The goal. And it's a tough kick, it. isn't it? It is a, a tough kick. Out. Yeah, long way out. Great kick. Great finish. And maybe they can snatch a bit back. Suckling penetration on the kick. There's one swan down. There's two swans down. The last man standing was Marcus Bontempelli. <laughs> Two in a row! Through the middle. Richards looks down towards the half forward line. It's a one on one battle here. Here goes the Bond leading the aging Hodge. He snaps a goal. That is how you do it. Welcome back for the Bond. No love. Great work by Wallace. Lovely. Gets it back off Lipinski and then has Bonds and Pally who's going to run into goal. Kick his second. Well done, Mitch Wallace. Back to McLean. He's now got Bonson Pally out the back again. One on one Eagles. Oh, Bonson Pally. Too good. There was no Marcus Bonson Pally on the recruit. Yeah, It'll be the last kick of the quarter, I would imagine. And hopefully for the Bont, it'll be his third goal. Left foot drop punts on its way, and he makes no mistake. Still on the defensive side of centre, his handball goes straight into the man on the mark in Bailey Dale, and that could cost them a goal. Bonk says, I'll take it, I'll wander in for number four, and he does. He was all over the fact that he was looking for the receive. Ooh. Massive snap of the goal, I think it's a goal into the doggies. Oh. Pell has kicked an absolute ripper from the ball up. Left foot snap at goal, they've kicked three on the trot. No touch and feel on him there at all. The most dangerous player in that half of the ground, and he's able to swing onto his left foot and kick a goal. Clearances 7 1 to the dogs. What little toe poke doesn't travel a lot of distance. Jetta has been brilliant in defence. A hurried high well, pass, and Bontempelli has kicked the first goal of the second half. Far to Honeychurch, Howard getting it down. Quick kick, Bontempelli. Yeah, he's got it. The Bont's got it. Job of her, I reckon, kicks the centre half forward. Lipinski couldn't take the mark. She power pepper strong. McLean Bontempelli, yes, he's had a good night. Spent a little bit of time at Assumption College, Josh Shackey. That one didn't quite oh. nail it, but Bontempelli read it best. Bontempelli finishes, no problems, scores level. State of health, I mean, at times tonight, you would have. Oh, look at this, Bontempelli right spot. How hurt is he every now and then? He looks like he's done, doesn't he? He's moving around. This is a massive kick. Can he nail up the champ? The young champion? There's your answer. They're going to be hard to beat. I reckon they're favourite now. I reckon for the first time they're not their favourite. He's up to the 17 disposals, called to play on. So he goes to the top of the square. It's a two-on-two. -two. Shaki there, Bontempelli oh. at the back. Just read it better than everyone did Bontempelli. And that's his first goal for the afternoon, and the Dogs take the lead. Anderson Hill sprint through the St Kilda defence. Give it off to Bontempelli. Standing start from 48 metres. Dogs have got another. He's got his second. It'll be interesting to see what they can produce in the final term as Steele tried to lock it up, but Dunkley gives it to Bontempelli. He's got another one. The Bont has three all in this term. A lot of finger pointing going yeah. on there. So that's always a good sign. So here's Bonson Pally again for his fourth goal for the quarter. Marcus Bonson Pally is putting on a show. And a half minutes gone, second term. Roughhead and Majak Dor. Bonson Pally bends it back and gets a much needed goal. Finds Lynch just beyond the field. Give it back to Bond. Here's the third, the trifecta from the Bond. The Bulldogs number four. What a blast! The star that is the Bond. McLean, he's got Bonapelli running back. Bonapelli will get it. He'll run in and kick a massive goal for the Dogs.
So here's the goal. Pontempelli gets out the back and let's get up into the super box and look at the boys. No, it's not a mark. Never had control Play of it. Oh, Pontempelli taken high. So we saw a champion of the game kick one of these at the other end, and this is an emerging champion. One goal, nine. Bontempelli has struck that brilliantly. Magnificent. As we know, the goal kicking issues for the dogs have been a big factor, but Bontempelli, who started it all best, he's finding it 20, 25 times and kicking. Those two or three goals a game. Only a tough angle for a left footer. That is a superb kick from the bottom. Gowers wants it out the back, sends a long ball. Bonapelli, Gowers, Bashahuli at the front. Bonapelli, they're going to get three in a row, the dogs. Clinic now, boys. Hi. We're searching for the world record. He is on track, you think, and the bot who has spent some time forward. So Aaron Norton's got eight contested marks. Uh, Lingy Richo's been pretty focused on it. We'll come back to Richo. The feeling he's well and truly aware of his performances in the past. Bond and Pelly, bit of left to right bends, takes it home. The definition of the term handball this today, Jono. Got a free kick. McRae went long and Bond and Pelly. He hasn't been a great set shot this year, the Bond. He was immense. Bit positive, Jono. Last week with three goals against the Tigers. Bontempelli, and that one will straighten. They needed a big goal, and their star steps up. Smith again for Bontempelli. Oh, he just brushed to Smith Guthrie. Charging through Marcus Bontempelli. Irresistible. What a player he is. He didn't have a clear leading option. That's a really good finish. Tom Stewart had almost looked like he was peeling off to be able to cover the receiver, didn't he? But Hayes to Norton. Puts us found a way to deny him. McRae released the deliberatory. They just stay ahead of the game. Bont and Pally. He takes the long shot. The hot shot. Yes. Oh, how good's that? The Bont is turning it on. Liberatore, top of the square, maybe beyond. The Bont. Read the play. Running back to goal, and the dogs level it up. Step inside, Allen. Good kick. It was to Bontempelli. In lace out, it's going to be 50 against Rioli, who knew it as he was going past. Adams it takes Bontempelli right to the top of the square. And he has got it. Made tough work of it, but he's got it. Let's have stripped of it. Williams, in fact, it's McLean emerges from 50, can attack Bontempelli in great position. Just had the back spot over Zach Sui. Hawkins was in that position at the other end of the ground. Just got to choose the right options, don't you? Fina grinds, but the dogs are in front. Darcy, English, they scrapped hard. English gets them forward. And Bontempelli gliding through. Magnificent play. Marcus Bontempelli loading up your telly. To the midfielders. Here it is. Have here. a look at Bontempelli in there. And that's what watch him burst through there. Recognises. And that's a, 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 the great players recognise the instant. The moment their team wins the footy and they're off to be creative. You know, potentially last year you might have a half forward that's come around the back of the square. So he stops Bontempelli. And then into the middle to Hunter. And look who's on his own in the 50. Bruzy would. Uh, Only if he winks. Bonson Pelly. He had to kick the goal after all of that. And that's exactly what he's done. Loops it back. Wrong guy. Lipinski. Liberatore. Smith. Bonham Pelly. Fresh. Just back on. Miracle worker. <laughs> Uh, the bond from a stand start he still was able to dance to the left and then a little step to the right and they're celebrating their fifth and here
here he goes. Pops yep. it to the top of the square again. What can they get what? this time? English was there. Couldn't win it out the back. Final penalty. Soccer off the ground. Got it. And so far this year, McLean got it from Vanderbeer. A bit up and under. Vodson Kelly. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's no easy. Eh? He doesn't know what's coming in the other direction. He's fully exposed there. And... His ability to go forward and, and hit the scoreboard, I mean, he's just a complete player. Now, he has missed a few of these in the last 12 months, but he hasn't missed tonight, and the dogs kick away. 22 years of age, you just feel if he can stay fit and healthy, he's got a massive career in front of him. Holding. Well, and you, you felt in the first sort of five minutes of this second quarter that the Swans were getting momentum, and he's come in and he's just been able to totally shift it. So 15 goals, 27 last year. That's what we were talking about with missed shots, but not so far tonight. That is a big goal, not just for him, but in the context of the... Wanted to get around Simpson. Simpson corralled him. Pressure on the kick. Bontempelli. Just... Yeah, he's 50-50 at goal. 118, 111, to be precise. But this is massive. And he drives it home like a captain should. Having a superb year. Drives it long into the pocket, and there is the champ, Bontempelli. This is just a learning curve here from uh, Stasevich. When you're on a bloke like Bontempelli, you don't try and outmark him. You just put a big fist into it, get it as far away from him as possible. As we said, he's a six foot four midfielder who, who could play key position if he wanted to. He was voted by the coaches as their player of the year in 2019. The captain steps up, and he knows it. Doing it here today, Riley O'Brien spun around. Bonds and Pelly took it off Schomburg, and the Bonds looks to inspire late in this opening quarter. Oh. Hard stuff. Talia coughed it up. Bonds and Pelly kept on running, and he stems the tide with a captain's goal. Not quite into range. Bailey Smith looking to set it up, and he's found his target. Bonds and Pelly loomed large. Got his timing right for that kick in to the space. Kicked a brilliant goal on the run earlier on. Now from the set shot, Bontempelli makes no mistake, and the Bulldogs are kicking away on the Crows. Mulvaney hasn't managed to get it clear. McLean, Bontempelli, dangerous. Bontempelli, wonderful. The Dogs to go back into forward 50. And he does with a high ball. Gee, that was a good mark. Bontempelli not knowing was it coming from behind him. Set shot. So the first instinct then was to give it off. Now he's got to go back and kick a skipper's goal. So right behind him. And that's pretty nice. So Bonham Pally, great start for the Dogs. They're three straight. Gave it back to Williams. One way than the other. Looks up and he's got Smith. He floats it to the bolt. And Marcus Bonham Pally gets his big moment. No, he's composed. He says, I'll give it to the skipper. Now here's your moment. to give his dogs back the lead. That should feed back. It feeds back. Hasn't got the carry or has it? Oh. They like it. What's the call? Thank you. Thanks, guys. It's been called a goal. There needs to be definitive evidence to overturn that call. Oh, I don't know, Dwayne. Confirm or overturn the umpire's call. The goal. The goal. The umpire's call. The goal stands. Insufficient evidence to overturn it. Well, at the end of the day. <laughs> he hasn't kicked the goals at times when he's needed to. That's from outside 50 metres. Yep. On a night where players have been struggling to get it from that side of the ground. That is a huge, huge move. Alright, tries to hit up English. Darcy was left on the floor. Oh, and Tim English can run it home. Oh no, he wants to give it off to the bump, the bump, the bump. Who puts it through and then says, I'm sorry. A lot of players inside this dogs attacking 50. Norton was deep. Vandermeer, little handball. Bontem Pally on his non preferred. Snapping, bending, got it. Gee, that was good. That's a strong mark for a small forward. He wants Bonapelli. Bonapelli wants the ball and he wants to go and he's got it. Pelly's in the 50. He's going to mark the ball. Minute to go. Dogs by a point. Bonapelli says, I'll make it a 30 second game. Adam Simpson.
stops and realizes that. They're going to have about, well, less than 30 to take it from one end to the other. And the boards have been held up on the bench by the Eagles. So if he does miss, Bontempelli to seal the game. He's got it. The Dogs are going to win. The Dogs by seven points. 23 seconds remaining. Ellie Scott couldn't get the handball out. Liberatore. Just incredible at that part of the game. Bontempelli, long bomb from outside 60. Launches to the goal square, and he could not have hit that any sweeter. Fred, they, they know, he knew, he had confidence in his teammates they were going to win that 50-50 ball, so he shoots out the back towards goal, and that's a class finish. Hasn't had his biggest day, only the 13 disposals and a goal. Lipinski, that late change, inside to Fontapelli in game 150. Like Sean Pease for the punt. Delivered, Scott, McRae, precision ball use to Bontempelli. He's just having a rest forward at the moment. <laughs> the top team in the AFL competition. Searching for a five-win, zero-loss start to the season. Their captain, Marcus Bontempelli, in game 150, has two. Out of trouble to Harbrow. Not sure about that handle. Bontempelli spins it around the body and makes him pay. Full cross. That's class right there. Bruce with a fly. Buckley with the late fist. Bontempelli so brilliant. There it is. Two in a row. Moves it on quickly. Attacks the top of the square. Some pushing and shoving. And Bontempelli's been paid the mark. Drift forward. Doesn't always mark it, but it's always... Look at this thing, they've gone with no one on the mark. They can't have anyone on the mark, so he trot straight in. What a blue! Three-point game. And it goes around them. Here's Bontempelli, speaking of, great, just fires towards goal. The dogs right now are hot. seven they hunt the footy and then they run and carry and share of the ball from there is the best in the comp that's typical liberatore in there isn't yeah. it just scratching and fighting and finding a way to get rid of the footy he's already had five clearances to be an extraordinary young captain that man as well despondent pelly carried the side on his back in the sense the locals not happy the dogs looking for their first score of the quarter Bontempelli. Bontempelli, pushing the back. So Bontempelli was the last goal scorer for the Dogs since then, five to Port. The captain does exactly what he was needed to do. And Jack Steele's hands were a bit hot in the end for Ross. Liberatore wants it, so does Bradley Hill. Look at Liber, got it back to Bond, jumped through and got a boot to ball and nailed it. Scott picked up though by Caleb Daniel Bailey. Dale's had an enormous half. Disposal number 19. Norton edged underneath it. At the back, Bonham Pelly. Goal. He's got two. More of the footy out to McRae. Bonham Pelly a chance. Senses he's going to kick a goal. That's goal number three for the Bond. Nurse is the kick forward. Bonham Pelly can have a look at a fourth. Previous best, four goals, one. 4-3 Four, tonight. McRae out wide, who can usually use that left boot pretty well, but he'll go with a handball instead back to Bontempelli, who can do the same. Just roost it from outside 50. The Bont with a brilliant goal. Now Bontempelli, the big wind-up from 51 metres out. And he's put it through! What a superstar! That's two goals he's kicked from outside the arc this quarter. Yeah, they've got to know that. Double the handball. 
So dangerous, Bontempelli with some space on the left. That is through. Well, well called, JB, and you're right. And what you love about this is he takes it upon himself. He knew exactly what he was going to do as soon as he got that foot. He never looked like he wanted to give it off because he knew what he had on the inside. He knew the space that he had. And I'm not sure that he was trying to call the umpire. Garcia picks it up to Bontempelli, and that's in the goal square. So they need to make sure of this for all of their dominance early. No problems from the superstar. Heard. That one's not 15. <laughs> Daniel Johannesson squares it up. Multiple options, and Bontempelli can go back and steady for the dogs. Able to clean it up again and get another shot at goal. 1-1 one, one in the opening term. This is for a steadier. On top of what they've already achieved. Out the back door is Cole rushing through Bonham Pally. Couldn't kick it from there, could he? He oh. could not oh, kick yeah. it from there. His momentum's going the wrong way. Wow, that is not possible. So his momentum going the wrong way, the spin of the ball going the wrong way, and somehow Luke Beveridge sits there and he's as mystified as we are. Have a look at this and take note with Bonham Pally. Amazing amazing way to finish this look at this momentum going away from the goals the spin of the ball away from the goals and that is pure brilliance amazing bt look at that so english engages with gorn daniel did well to bottom pally around on the left bottom pally sensational stoppage work for the dogs You can see Bontempelli there with Salem at the back, and that was too easy. He, he let him have the side that he wanted there for a start. He had the middle of the ground. Salem needed to try and get on the other side. He had to be aware he's a left footer. What's the best part? Missing with the attempted kick. Liberatore. Bontempelli won't miss. Yeah, you can't you can't let the bond have that much space can you it's not his, time tonight sitting off the back there on his left melbourne players are all just caught in a little bit too close to the contest and butts under immediate pressure stands up to it trying to work it out their way through smith bontempelli used his strength you want to get onto the left bontempelli unloads what a finish that is He has just launched onto the left with a big, big bomb. That works. That really works. What a year he's had.